All right, we put a ton of work into the front of the house in the last couple months. I wish I had been keeping track of the inside of the house. Um, but this is peony planted last year, might have been two years ago, but you can see it's about to come out. I did get new peonies and they are starting to come in back in there. And the hollyhocks are kind of hanging on for life over here. This is clearly not their favorite place. Um, have any other here. And then there's another one over there. And they will get sun probably from about noon on. But then this whole thing we expanded. Just come on. Put in a new water barrel up here. These are nine barks. I wanted to get something native, and this is called a panther nine bark. And it should have pink flowers when it comes into bloom, which is awesome. And then all these guys back here, are probably going to break them up and move them, um, disperse them a little bit more. But you see the iris is very happy. Um, we've got a couple different types. This little purple one. This a hollyhock hanging in there. This white one. Pass on my plants, cat. Um, this border is going to be replaced. It was just actually what was the old border. I just slapped it down for the time being to hold our pumpkin squirrels. Hold the mulch in. Um, so, yeah, the hollyhocks are actually looking better this year. They overwintered just fine. And they look puny, and some of them are actually looking pretty good. Nine bucks. These are Asiatic lilies. And I dug up the one that was where the um, rain barrel is. I couldn't think of that word. And this, I'm not entirely sure what this is coming up. This has the same kind of foliage as some of the other irises, like the white irises. But I don't believe I planted any of those over here. I did plant some tulip bulbs, and those haven't come up yet. They may not come up. Not sure. There's a gladiolus hanging around. Um, and most of those I dug up and transplanted, but you see the hollyhocks doing fine. The Gerber daisy we inherited doing fine, unkillable. One thing about the hollyhocks is they do get this rust, and that is concerning. So I'm going to go back and pull that off because they, when they came back this year, they were doing good. Um, they still have some work to do finishing this up, as you can see. Um, these are some mustards that I let go. Sorry, the road noise is coming in strong now. It's another mustard. Um, this is a Russian sage that got killed back pretty hard. I, I did plant it really late in the season, though. I think I got it on clearance, probably. It was one of those mostly dead, maybe it'll live sort of situations. But it's coming back. Um, I wasn't sure. So Perovsky will happen for us. Um, and this is cat mint, which I thought she was going to be all over, but she hasn't touched. And there was actually another Perovskia in here, but you can see I let it go wild, so I don't know that it's in here. Um, all of this, which used to be just mulch, we've let some things come through. And especially because early on there weren't anything for the pollinators, so we just kind of let some wild stuff happen. A lot of, I believe that's Speedwell. Burrowing. I'm not entirely sure what that is. What was it? I don't know. So much wildlife. And then we have some things peeking through the fence. Little raspberries creeping out. Strawberries. And some wild garlic. We have that all over the place. Um, and then, interestingly enough, oh gosh, look at that berries on it. Would you look at that? Um, and then down here, let's see, I'll show you. I did spread some seeds out here, and I might have some taken out, just broadcast, and that looks like calendula maybe. And there's one that looks like a zinnia over here. But yeah, I had a ton of um, seeds that came out and broadcast. I did not make any, put any this far. 
but I might have had them come up anyways. Um, but yeah, just to, to let some wildflowers happen in here. Um, we're gonna at some point put a tree in here. We might put that hickory in. That is a big guy that might compete with our big maple and the green giants, these guys. Uh, but yeah, we got tons of raspberries coming up. We tried to pull them up last year, and I don't know if we're gonna bother this year. I'm sure eventually the our green giants will overshadow them. Oh, here comes the traffic picking up good. Here's our friend. Comrade. We're almost done, comrade. I know. Let's go talk about the little trees up front. We expanded the bed. Oh, looks like a maybe some calendula coming in. Um, so we got a little bit of grass left. Probably won't after too long. Oh, we'll talk about the circle bed. This was going to be the home for the pomegranate tree that I've had in a pot for forever, but I think we're going to put that closer to the house in that little alcove there because it's more sheltered, maybe a little warmer. So I don't remember the pomegranate's variety because I've had it forever. These are bachelor buttons called Black Magic. We've got several. I had some black poppies. They haven't done anything though, but the bachelor buttons seem to be doing good. And then look at the trees here. And this little brick line, this is where this bed's going to extend out to. Just, I'm almost done, darling. Just hold on. We're getting there. Um, so that's a plum, American plum. And I planted some flowers and things around, a little guild style, as you can see. Somebody's been hard at work digging them up and like absolutely destroying them. For what reason? Nobody knows. Um, so that is catnip right there, I believe. Orage. I say that's a calendula. It's a strawberry I've transplanted. I did spread some seeds in here too, but also haven't seen anything from it. Um, another plum. And these, let's see. Orage. Calendula. I think that's a forget-me-not. Uh, another strawberry. But plum's looking pretty happy. And then these are the hazelnuts. And oh, bee balm. Calendula. Strawberry. So all of the ones I'm putting around are ones that I know are going to self-seed and spread. And that's kind of what I want here. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. Same thing, orange. This is the evening primrose that we have crazy amounts of in the back. Strawberry. Um, and this is our sand cherry. You see that some flowers and stuff there. Um, actually, it's like a little sprout. Calendula. Strawberry. Forget me not. Orange. And then this one over here, I probably need to straighten up a little bit. I don't have anything planted with it. Yeah, we got our one little wild strip between this bed and that bed. We're gonna work on filling that in, but for the meantime, we'll leave the dandelions for the pollinators. And then also one last little peek for the pecan tree that is coming in nicely. I did put some things around it as well. I believe it got forget-me-nots in some poppies and I think it might have been too cold for those guys. Oh, that looks like that's coming back a little bit. And I think that might be for no no that's in you. It's in you. But yeah I've got more flowers started. We'll have more to fill in out here, won't we comrade? Yeah.